Let's have a toast to the gamers. Let's have a toast to the chatters. Let's have a toast to the lurkers. You know what I'm talking about, Kanye West? Oh, man. Oh, man. Do you see Kim Kardashian got um, a notice from her municipality because during uh, water restrictions in the California drought, their household used 150,000 gallons of water? Hold on. Oh, two, sorry, 230,000 gallons. Kim Kardashian water. And Kevin Hart. Kim Kardashian... Kevin Hart and Sylvester Stallone are accused of massive violation of water drought rules. Dwayne Wade used 500,000 gallons. Hold on. How much water does the average household use per month? Okay, what's 335 times 30? That's te So the average household maybe uses around 10,000 gallons a month? They used 500,000 gallons Is that a annually or monthly. Hold on. Sir, monthly. 500,000 gallons in a month? Someone in chat said it's equivalent to filling your bathtub every five minutes for a month straight. Look, okay, how does that happen? Swimming pool, but then you're only filling it once. Fountains, um, landscaping on big lawns. Leaving the sink running while you brush your teeth? Is that it? Is that why they always warned us about that? Can I tell you about when I knew we were fucked uh, during COVID-19? It was like March, probably like March 24th, 2020. And uh, CNN posted a tweet or uh, they did a video segment that was like, here's how to properly wash your hands. And I was like, okay, we're already fucked. But then all of the replies on Twitter we're like, he left the sink running while he washed his hands. That's ridiculous. And I was like, okay, we're, gonna, we're all going to get destroyed here. We're not ready for this. Nobody was focusing on the proper hygiene. Everybody was like, my mom told me when I was four not to leave the sink running. You'd think a, a doctor would know this. And I was like, you are... Uh, excuse me, in this uh, warrant for my arrest, there's a spelling mistake. You're going to federal prison, buddy. You got bigger problems. Hey, Anel, how was your Peloton ride? Pretty good. Uh, I did a 30-minute Sam Yo Muse ride, 357 output in 30 minutes. I, I feel like if you were a Muse fan, you could have PB'd, but I don't know what any of the songs are, except the one that's like, I'll never let you go as long as I promise not to fade. That's the only one I know. And then Knights of Sidonia, when he goes, that's the only other one I know. I only know those two songs. But I feel like you could, you could PB it if, you are a, uh, if, if you're a Muse head. See, it had like much better programming than the Atlantis ride, but I was, I was on like a spiritual vibe when she was like, you know, I recommend getting your trampled on. To anyone who feel free, you know she does that. So that even though there was worse programming in that ride, I had a little bit. I mean, my my adrenaline was pumping for sure. Hold on, I have to refresh chat for Monka Giga featuring Ryan Gary. Monka Giga featuring doesn't work for me yet. I I enabled it. I promise you. On BT TV. It might take another minute or so. Works on my machine? Works on my machine. Okay, well, when's the Hamilton uh, ride? Look, okay, there is a 30 minute Hamilton ride, but I need to show you the track list to show you why I've never taken it, okay? This Hamilton ride may be your most favorite Peloton class. This is like the ultimate um, bad chest moment. This is, it's like bad chest inside of a bad chest. I don't know. I, I can't find the, the ride myself, but the track list was like all of my least favorite songs from the Hamilton soundtrack. I was like, I'm not doing a, a 90 second climb to Farmer Refuted, okay? You have to have more respect than that. What, what do I want to see in my Hamilton ride? You know, you could warm up with, with 
Track one, Alexander Hamilton. Track two, we're going to send you on uh, a little... We're going to get the blood pumping with my shot. Then, once you're warmed up, we're going to hit you with uh, some speed intervals to guns and ships. Whenever Lafayette raps, you're going you're gonna to hit a cadence of 100 to 120. Then we're going to have, I mean, you got to throw nonstop in there, but nonstop might be a better finisher for you or something like that. You could have the Battle of Yorktown. That would be a, 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 a good climb or something like that. How about Say No to This? Great song. Sure, put it on the ride. Just don't give me a, yeah, nine-minute uh, Paul Oakenfeld remix of It's Quiet Uptown. I don't want to hear that shit when I'm just trying to ride. And for the love of God, if you're going to play Helpless... Please play the Philippa Sue version, the original cast. For the love of God, I can't hear the Ashanti Ja Rule cover anymore. It's so much worse than the original. You know how bad Ja Rule has to be? Lin-Manuel Miranda wrote songs for Moana that made The Rock sound like a good singer. He also wrote... Uh, Helpless for the original Hamilton soundtrack as an ode to Ja Rule featuring Ashanti and then gave it to Ja Rule and Ashanti and, and it's fucking horrible. It's like they, they had a better songwriter write a song for them and I'm, I'm nothing against Ashanti but Ja Rule just is like he's not bringing it. But I mean there's always... You know, there's always, always on time. I'm trying to see what else is... I'm trying to remember what else Ashanti did. Baby. Baby. I can't really do it. Baby. How does he do that? He's got like a little growl. He's got like a little phlegm in his throat. James and the Giant Peach. That's got to be like 96. The movie's all voices. How am I supposed to know? How am I supposed to know who's in James and the Giant Peach? James? Was that a Tim Burton movie? Is Johnny Depp in that? I don't know who was in that. I don't know who voiced in James and the Giant Peach, honestly. What am I missing here? Soylent Green's actor, My Blue Hat. You know what? I got to take the L on this one. I don't know the rest. Richard Dreyfuss and Susan Sarandon. I hope she played the peach. That, that's because she's such a nice lady. Especially in Rocky Horror Picture Show. You could have gotten that one. What are you talking about? You think I'm going to know? <laughs> As an eight-year-old, the last time I saw James and the Giant Peach, I'm like, hmm, I don't know why I smelled. Oh, is that Richard Dreyfuss's voice? I love him from those two movies I've heard of, Jaws and Close Encounters of the Third Kind, that I won't watch until I'm in my late 20s. He did sniff. Yeah, I don't know why I sniffed. See? <laughs> Can you name the food or drink? Okay, Golden Girl. Wait, Sandwich? Golden Girls is cake. Golden Girls is cheesecake. The Office is Kevin's Chili. Sex in the City is a Manhattan. No, a Cosmopolitan. Arrested Development is a frozen banana. Also known as a forcing banana. Frozen banana. Simpsons is a donut. Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Jawbreakers. Okay. I didn't know that. It's just what it looks like. Is the chain grease going to adversely affect my turkey? With a chainsaw, okay. How do I roast my turkey so it gets golden brown tan lines in the shape of a bikini? It's my first Thanksgiving and I have a tiny apartment-sized oven. How much will my turkey expand when cooking? I won my turkey at a casino and it thawed on my blank while I rode on the bus home. Can I eat it? That would be a lap. I want my turkey to be extra festive this year. Can I put edible glitter in the spice rub I'm using? I need to defrost my turkey, but it doesn't fit in my refrigerator. I do, however, have a blank in my backyard, a hot tub. Can I use that for a quick defrost? Why won't my turkey stop sudsing up when I rinse it after washing it with soap? Can I brine my turkey in the washing machine? Can I use my oven self-cleaning cycle to speed up the cooking process? So I'm looking at a turkey from 1969 sitting here in my father's freezer. Any tips on the best way to cook a 30-year-old bird? For the sake of delicious smells, can I cook the turkey over the course of four days? So that's just a brief glimpse into Thanksgiving culture for you into 20, 2020. 
Uh oh. Okay, ramen. Not a trend. Actually, great. Sriracha. Acceptable. I see. I see. M fake meat. Not derisively. Plant-based meat. I can get down with an Impossible or a Beyond Burger now. Um, that's kombucha. Not a trend. Just a good beverage. Macarons. Not a trend. Just a good cookie. Nut milk. These are not uh, trends, man. Nut milk is good. Um, I, that's an acai bowl. I've never had one. That's okay. Now, pasta alternatives like sp 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 spaghetti zucchini. Zucchini noodles. I don't respect the alternative pastas. We, we've have had them a couple of times. Rice cauliflower, I can get down with, okay? But the, we bought like some protein pasta that's made with chickpeas for uh, our baby to get some extra protein intake. We went back to the default pasta. It's, it's so not even close. They, they need to go back to formula on that one. It's not, we've tried two different brands. They're horrendous. Not even close to regular pasta. Just eat the chickpeas. I'm not saying you can't respect your health, but like just you can find a better chickpea dish than making like horrible spaghetti bolognese with these noodles that are so like mealy and they anyway. That's bur that's insane cake. Those are stupid cakes. Those are large, they're unicorn cakes. Okay, I don't even know what a unicorn food is, but craft beer, not a fad, here to stay. No offense if you're like, uh, if you work for InBev. Oh, okay. This is just car logos. Hail Corporate, Toyota, Bentley, Volkswagen, Cattle, no, Buick. Nice try, motherfucker. You think I don't, the, the Buick logo is a really easy one to remember because if one of them's in front of you, you're not going very fast. It's not like they're going to be zipping away from you. You're going to be staring at thing for the next 20 miles. Okay, there's Chevrolet, then it's Cadillac, then it's Mercedes. This is too easy. That's Ferrari, that's Honda. Bangkok! <laughs> of course. Oh, come on, dude. First off, I don't even know where this is. What is the, what country is, I'm not, I can't even say it. Nepiadal? That's, that's Myanmar. Nicosia, also known as Greece. Cape Town, that makes sense. Oh, Nicosia is Cyprus. Okay. Now, I could have gotten Georgia. Timpu, that is the capital of Bhutan, right? Or Nepal? It, no, Timpu is Bhutan. Okay, Abu Dhabi, I should have just gotten. That's tough, man. Holy cow, we were under the average, too. That's, that hurts. Oh, here we go. Holiday breads. <laughs> Can you name the holiday represented in each image of bread? Maybe this is like on the Simpsons episode where they Lisa makes friends with the only person she's ever met who's smarter than her. And then they give her the anagram of uh, Jeremy Iron. Jeremy Irons. And she says Jeremy's iron. And then the guy goes, the dad goes, oh, we also got this ball. Here's this ball you can play with that's uh, shaped like a turkey. And you could just tell me what holiday it's uh, from. Maybe that's more your speed. That would be Thanksgiving. This would be Valentine's Day. Who's got the time for this kind of bread, man? That would be Christmas. That's Halloween. <laughs> this is insulting. This is like when I had to go to YouTube copyright school. When the title of my video was Blinded by the Light and Entertainment One had a movie coming out called Blinded by the Light, which was actually copied from the title of a fucking song. So they should be the ones going to damn copyright school because my video had nothing to do with the movie or the song. This is Pi Day. That's Easter. Bunny. What? Easter? What? Bunny Day? What the hell is this, man? That's July 4th. 4th of July? Independence Day? No Americans call it Independence Day. The movie took that title. That's St. Patrick's Day. That's May 4th. Oh, sorry. 
the 4th of May. Oh, sorry. Star Wars Day. Nobody calls it that. That's Dio de les Muertas. The Day of the Dead. Yeah, I was close. <laughs> That's Hanukkah. Come on, man. The spelling is nuts. I don't know what you are. Groundhog Day. Okay, let me stop you right there. Not a holiday. You get February 2nd off if it's not a Saturday or a Sunday? I don't think so. It is not a holiday. Tell me you live in Punxsutawney without telling me you live in Punxsutawney. Increasing options. Pixar movies. <laughs> Back to my level. Ratatouille, that's A, dude. Character who was primarily an antagonist. Not an antagonist. Not an antagonist. I don't know who any of you are. You're from Toy Story. You're from, I'm assuming Brave, which I've never seen. You're just a bird. I don't know what you're from. It's got to be D, right? That guy wouldn't be a villain. In Pixar movies, physically large people are not demons. Or not, not villains, I should say. They're always, like, supportive. Like the dad from The Incredibles. And then, it's always like the Steve Buscemi types that are like, I'm actually evil. Which film was not a sequel or a prequel? This is Monsters... Okay, it's E. This is The Good Dinosaur. It's also not worth watching. Which image shows the title character of a film? That would be B. That's Coco right there. Me, when I watch Coco, that's Coco. Leonardo DiCaprio, that's Coco. My man's so average today. Look, you're going to regret that when I go to increasing options animals and get fucking blown out because <laughs> I don't know anything about animals. Which image shows... The animal most closely related to humans. So can I, if, if I could pause for a second, I'm not looking at chat. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm glancing, but I'm covering the chat screen. This, if you want a question that a biology student actually should know, it's not which of these is a zebra, which of these is an okapi. It's which of these animals is most closely taxonomically related to humans. And the answer that, look, here's my thinking, okay? Fish are fucking almost not even animals. They're basically like plants. So it can't be fish. They've probably been around longest. Dinosaurs were kind of amphibians and kind of birds. But I think that they were amphibians first and they became birds later. So I think humans are closest to birds. I'm going to say it's B. He's insane. Because when you look at the taxonomical, like the, the, the evolutionary tree of life, it's like they all start at like a little a fucking little slug and then they go as they get oh six legs instead of four. And so it's which one or which branch are we closest to? I think humans are closer to birds than frogs. It just makes sense. Which image shows an animal endemic to Australia? Is it like native to Australia is when you like the animal and endemic is when like you can't get rid of it? It's got to be D, right? Hey! Correct. That's a numbat. An Australian marsupial. I beat the average. Oh, endemic means found nowhere else. Okay. I love these increasing options ones, man. Oh, fuck. Books. Well, is I don't think it's Jules Verne. Pretty sure it's not Dostoevsky. Vanity Fair sounds British as hell. I'm going to say it's 100 Years of Solitude, D. That's correct. That's by Gabriel Garcia Marquez from Colombia. He's insane. 80% versus 73. I'm slightly above average, right where I belong. First country alphabetically. Okay. I think we have Andorra, maybe. That would be big. We have Estonia. We have Hungary because the middle is empty. They want a burger with the lettuce on the bottom. And we've got... Wait, is that Albania? Or is that North... No, Albania is the eagle. That's North Macedonia. I think it's B, Andorra. Son of a bitch. That's Moldova, isn't it? Piece of shit. 
fucking flags. Never keep the flags in my damn head. European country that has had its color scheme modified. Oh, so the one that's not right. Okay. Well, um, I feel like A is bad Spain. Yay! Or bad Portugal. That's right. That's right. Which is the flag of a country that was not formerly part of Yugoslavia? I feel like Slovakia is too far north to have formerly been a part. Wrong? Sorry, that's Slovenia. Get new flags and new names, okay? The flags look almost the same. The names are so similar. Like, cut me some damn slack, man. I'm sorry. Slovenia, you have to change your name. Slovakia, I don't know if they were there first, but they're bigger. They have... Um, Yaroslav Halak is from there. Marian Hosa is from there. Slovenia, you got to change. They got more people, I'm sure. Oh, increasing options, Africa. Okay, if you thought my Europe guesses were bad, get ready. Because it's in the Southern Hemisphere. Which image shows the region now known as Zimbabwe? That's... But Zimbabwe is the homie, though. I had to do it, I'm sorry. It's got to be Rhodesia, right? Because was it Rhodes became Zimbabwe? Which image shows a banknote from Ethiopia? Dude, I'm sorry. This, it's not funny, but C is actually hilarious. It looks like one of those fake bills you could buy off eBay with, like, Donald Trump's face on it. This is actually an incredible note of currency. A banknote from Ethiopia. I think that it's E, based on the text. Which of these is a country whose capital city starts with the same letter as the country? It's not Burkina Faso, and that's all I know. A. <laughs> got destroyed, man. Oh, my God. But hold on. We can come back, okay? Which image shows a homophone of a word meaning... This is the damn SATs! Which image shows a homophone, a word that sounds the same, of a word meaning a story appearing in regular installments? That would be C, serial. One of the mothers of Pegasus? Look, I'm kind of a genetics expert. Even I can't do a Punnett square that goes from half woman, half griffin to flying horse. It's got to be Medusa, right? Because it's the only thing that makes any sense. <laughs> Which makes no sense, but... Which image shows the logo of a company whose name is derived from the Greek goddess of victory? Mm, I think that would be PayPal, the Greek goddess of victory. Just kidding, it's Nike, it's E. A chess piece that shares its name with a bird most closely related to ravens? I don't know. I, I don't know the answer. I honestly, I, I, I can't. I give up. I just don't know. I'd be making a guess. Correct? That's a rook. A rook. A rook. A rook. A chess piece that shares his name with a bird closely related to ravens. A rook is a bird. I've never heard of a rook before in my life outside of chess context. And also the game Grifflands. the more you know. You could have used process of elimination. No, I couldn't have. Because the same logic that lets me say it's not a pawn, bishop, king, or knight also applies to rook because I'd never heard of the bird before. It's basically what you're saying is if you knew the answer, you could have figured it out. Which is true, but not that helpful. Rook is the most plausible. Correct, because it was the correct answer. But if you never heard of it, how are you supposed to get there? Does it make any sense?
You know what a rook, you don't know what a rook is. You know what the other ones are. I don't know. You can make some. I'm, I've never heard of a pond bird, but I've never heard of a rook bird either. Maybe it is a pond bird. Maybe it's a kingfisher, like a king. Maybe there's a bird called a, a night bird. I got that. What am I supposed to know? Oh, you guys know it from Heroes of Might and Magic. I'm not a nerd. While you were playing Heroes of Might and Magic, I was studying Bruce Pandolfini's Annals of Chess, okay? Which image shows a figure who is not assassinated? Martin Luther King Jr. assassinated. Leon Trotsky, assassinated. Franz Ferdinand, assassinated. Rasputin, I'm so glad I watched Kingsman last night. Like half of these people died in the movie, The Kingsman, is B. Tesla died by... French kissing a pigeon in his hotel room, if I remember correctly. And this is what? Increasing options rock. I actually thought these were going to be minerals. Who's a member of Black Sabbath? Um, B is the guy from Motorhead, Lemmy. So it must be A. Which image shows a mascot who has performed for home games in New Orleans? Well, that's got to be... A's got to be the Buccaneers. The rest all look so bad. They all look so, so bad. Saints. New Orleans Saints? I love F, man. He's just chilling. I don't know. C? Nope. Which of these shows a player who won MVP? <laughs> Jake Paul. Elvis Presley. I'm going to... I know them from their non-basketball work, so I'm going to say A. Nope. All right. Which image shows the country that Rudy Gobert was born in? That would be France. Thanks, Rudy Gobert, by the way, for starting the, uh, the pandemic. Remember when he touched all those microphones? Defensive player of the year. There's some things even the defensive player of the year can't stop. 100 video games by Monster. <laughs> Can you name all 100 of these video games based on the Monster? Maybe. The Wolf Among Us. Hey! Okay. Yo! Yeah! Let's go! That's mom's heart. Do you, oh, we yeah, had the binding of Isaac. It happened. Arkham Asylum. Ah! Just kidding. I'm not scared. Minecraft? Four Nights. At Freddy's. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Oh my god, Diablo? No wonder my mom didn't want me playing this shit. That's what the butcher's room looked like? When I was a kid, I was like, this is... It's just a video game, but looking at a still screenshot out of context, I can understand why she would be a little bit upset. Dude, with the studio, is so much more... Okay, okay. Call of Duty Black Ops. Two, three, four, five... Treyarch, 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 Call of Duty, Zombies, Black Ops, <laughs> Call of Duty's, uh, whatever, who cares? In that TV show, I mean, in that game, Treyarch, Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War. Sorry, I wrote Call of Duty, Zombies, Cold War, Black Ops, Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War, my bad. Call of Duty, Black Ops, uh, Cold War, colon, uh, the Golden Circle, colon, uh, Returns, colon, The Lost World. Can you name these video games by their pause screen? Star Wars. This is uh, Fallen Jedi. This is Star Wars Fallen Jedi. This is Star Wars The Force Unleashed. The Force Unleashed. This is Star Wars Jedi Outcast. Star Wars Jedi Outcast 2. This is Knights of the Old Republic 2. This is Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2. What the hell? This is Call of Duty 4. 4. Modern Warfare 2. This is Medal of Honor.
Reach the safe house. Regroup, regroup with your squad at the safe house. Adrenaline. Kill streak. This is Call of Duty World at War. It has kill streaks. This is Call of Duty Black Ops. Two, three. God, this shit pisses me off. <laughs> they play. They play very little. Garbage mostly. I mean, I. It's it's such a, a is a dry season right now. I'm not even mad at Apollo for playing Path of Exile. I'm like, at least he's doing something. You gotta you gotta take the wins where you can get them. You gotta take your small victories. It's because of Genshin Impact's new update. Everybody got out of the way of Genshin Impact's new update. I'm not insulting Genshin Impact, as I told you. I have a, a patron who uh, buys pulls in Genshin Impact on the Epic Game Store using my creator code. So I've got nothing but positive things to say about Genshin Impact. Probably, I would recommend that everybody watching this buys $5,000 worth of Genshin Impact pulls right now using my creator code, creator code Northern Lion. And I'm just going to hit F5. I'm going to hit F5. I'm just going to hit F5 really quick. I'm going to hit F5, 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 F5. And, they, and yet they call me an influencer. They have the nerve to call me an influencer. Only 100 people followed that advice. Pathetic. Why did I even bother? I will be giving all of my opinions. Here's the thing. A lot of people, when they watch um, Friday night or when they watch Monday Night Raw, they do their recap podcast on Tuesday. Nah, man. I like to let it. I like to let it. I like to let it simmer for a day so that I can really get a chance to turn over the events that happened on the show in my head. And then I talk about wrestling on Wednesdays. I thought Raw was crazy this week when Triple H put, took out a gun and and threaten to shoot um, Rikishi in his stink face. I still don't know how to feel about that. I thought that was a little graphic, honestly. Hold on, I'm playing in windowed full screen. I need to quit the game and reopen it. Is this the late 80s? I will say almost all I know about wrestling in the Attitude Era comes from a best of Stone Cold Steve Austin VHS tape that I watched with Josh like six times in one weekend. Pretty much every clip was just somebody like in a hospital bed and then Stone Cold kicking their door down and beating the shit out of them with a baseball bat while they, while they lied in pain or like stepping on their IV and shit like that. top 10 movies of all time it, it was pretty good it was i mean we watched it six times it must have been good i will say and i guess this is a question that you can't possibly answer okay but view count goes down a little bit when we play rumbleverse that's fine it doesn't bother me all i want to know is what you're leaving to watch because if you're if you're seeing this shit and then you're going to the Twitch homepage and you're going nothing here strikes me so you're doing your dishes or you're learning a new skill or something like that or you're cooking or you're doing meal prep or cleaning your bathroom then I'm like you know what I I respect that but if you're leaving the Rumbleverse stream and then you're going and and you're watching somebody play freaking Valorant I'm gonna lose my damn mind. Okay, nobody said Valorant. That's that's the only thing I care about. Watch we, we landed cock first. We can't be stopped. I will say, so you saw probably the... Ooh, I jumped off the roof for some reason. You might have seen that Twitch is now allowing people to simultaneously stream on uh, other platforms. As long as those platforms... Hold on. Hold on. You want, you're taking my juice? As long as those platforms are not YouTube or Facebook. A number of people have asked, I wonder why. I wonder why no YouTube and no Facebook. I'm here to tell you, my, my personal prediction is that it's because they don't want the people who chased the YouTube bag to be able to have their cake and eat it too. 
That's just my hunch, at least. Oh. Huge. He's he's flooded. Send him. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. It's not a sneak this at all. I think what they want to do is stop you from having signed the contract for like a hundred million dollars to stream on YouTube and then also be able to get ooh, the benefits of Twitch. I'm going sicko mode. Are they dead? No, not dead. Just scared. Uh oh! Uh oh! You're alive? Never mind. Okay, I'm insane. I did see someone in chat say our 12 hour Valo streams quiet quitting. That, that was what inspired the Twitch comment to begin with. I don't think so. Well, I don't know. It depends. I think 12 hour Valorant streams are what happens when you, you believe it, when your community says, just play whatever you like, we're here for you, smiley face. Which is why I considered saying that a bannable offense. You're not here to see me play what I like. You're here to see me play what's entertaining. Which sometimes is what I like, and sometimes it's, you know, sometimes you gotta go to work. Sometimes you just turn the camera on, sometimes you go to work. They got bounced too. Where did they go though? Where did they go? I'm going up, man. I'm going down. If there was someone there though, holy cow. They would be dead as hell. <laughs> Cosmo shot, if you say so. Like, there was nobody there, but imagine. Important to learn as well, don't fo vote for belief. Well, I mean, I have said that about a hundred times. <laughs> I've said, why is there such a believer premium? Maybe you should learn to listen. Do top 20 or something? No, I'm going to do top 10. If you, you're like, you got options. You don't have to vet belief or bet belief. Sometimes people will be like, oh, you know what I want out of a casino? Exact 50-50 odds. What are you talking about? That's not what you want. I've seen what uh, young males bet on. On FanDuel. They do like insane 17-leg parlays. You don't want 50-50 bets. If you wanted 50-50 bets, you'd just pop your money into like a... A bogle, hand, a bogle head all in one portfolio. Instead, you're like, okay, Kevin Garnett wins the opening tip off. The Celtics are up at the first commercial break. I'm going to say that uh, Ray Donovan hits four three pointers in the second half. And then if I win that, I, it's, it's only a $100 bet. And I win a million dollars if all those things come true. Land me at the Hall of Justice. Crates? I want to see some crates. I, I knew it. I knew there'd be crates. Land me on the red one. Red one equals red juice. Cockhead first. Beautiful. Yellow juice in a red crate. It's a betrayal on levels nobody's ever seen before. <laughs> I'm sorry to read this toxic comment, but it got me laughing. This game looks like the inside of my diaper. It's, it's a great insult because you're saying that you have a diaper. That's what I like about it the most. Is that no one can be mad about it because you're also kind of insulting your, yourself in the process. That's a, that's a great technique. A chargeable, traversable skyrocket. How about this then? <laughs> okay. Hello. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Why? Why? We could have been friends! Okay, now, now you're gonna pay. Q and E. <laughs> Don't have a Q and E. You knew that was coming. Okay, what's next? You're gonna wake up. Wake up, elbow drop. Cute. See you in hell. Nice three hit combo on nothing. That's how you do it, you piece. Follow up with an unblockable. Go into the wall. Get three hit comboed. Back it up. Wake up attack. No. Okay. Oh, you know what? Good move. Good move. Honestly, you you got me sleeping on that one. Don't follow up with an elbow drop. It's a foolish endeavor. Come on, brother. You gotta mix it up a little bit more than that. <laughs> it feels 
Look, there's times where I just get mind flooded and suck ass. But when you've got them on the ropes and you just keep hitting them with the same thing, then you hit them with one mix up, it feels so good. You didn't run casino. Those aren't pillows. Cockhead first. Cockhead first. Cockhead first. Seems like oh, perfect. Down in Gravital City as I say this. I think we're in for something special with this match today. Oops. Hey. Ah! It's him! And another guy. Okay. Okay, that's not so bad. Because he's going to get hit. Then we come in. I'd like to read my book, please. Okay, get out of my face. I'm going to read these books and then I'll see you in a minute. Super duper kick. And an unblockable. Q then E if you can manage to set it up. You see this? I, I, I held my base. Normally that would have been like instant death for me. I didn't need to eat the chicken because I could have just had the juice instead. I, I, I stayed where I landed. That felt great. My bad. Your bad. Grab the last of the before you're caught outside the ring. Eat them. Holy shit. Bad. That was bad of me, just to be clear. What was I doing? Elbow drop incoming? You're leaving? Okay, I'm taking my juice. You're leaving? I'm taking my juice. I'm not going to chase you down. I'm, it's beneath me. Let someone else get a KO for once. Love that for me. Follow it up. Wall them. Oh, no, no wall required. Phil, Phil Collins, no wall required. I would be loving life. That's bad. That's pretty bad for business. I'm going super mode just to be safe. Kill me. What? How? 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 Did she throw something at me and kill me? Or did I did I die from landing on a planter? She threw a chicken at you and, and killed you? Insane. Actually insane gameplay. I you can't even be mad. That's an unbelievable play. Pay out the doubters. It was a pretty even match there. <clears throat> that was your own chicken? That was your own chicken? It popped out of your pocket and killed you? What happened? I really thought my super, uh, my super crushed him, though. Oh, you had a chicken out. You got a hit, and then the chicken got dropped out of your pocket onto your own body. That move is so good. What is that move? You should have big swinged her into the ocean. I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna level with you, okay? If you know the names of this the moves in this game, get out of my chat. Cause I don't know what what is big swing. Is that running running red move like that that's that i think that's what you're going for you don't eat my big chicken he's eating my big chicken dude motherfucker okay don't use it come back to come back to life I'm, i have to come back to life it's the only way for me Heal me somehow. You really think I won't suck all you off at the same time? The fact that I was I was fighting them like that. Oh, what the frick? It felt damn good to be honest with you. You follow up with that, I follow up with this. You follow up with that, I follow up with one of these. Diamond Crusher him! I don't know what you want me to say, brother. I need to build up some super. That's bad. That's horrible. Honestly, I thought I did a pretty good job there. In that, that whole game, I thought I held my own. There were some situations where I had to do some old boy in the hallway stuff. 
I felt like we did well there. And we made the top 10. That was a great suck job. I felt like John Wick in the Matrix, dude. I say hello, Corey, by the way. Hello, Corey. I don't want a weapon. I would like a book, please. Punchline. I sleep on that. Let's see how this one looks. <laughs> okay, that's weapons again. All right, that move's kind of sick. By the way, I told the joke in the Discord, Corey, while you're here. Why did nobody laugh at the joke that was... Um, here's the text, okay? The joke is, you two voice, two guys beat off one. I thought at least Justin would have would have liked it. All right, run the casino. Okay. John Sucker, the final suckening. Probably still be better than Kingsman 3. One of the bad guys gets killed by a goat. And I'm not talking about Michael Jordan. I know that the Cyclone was the get off me. But I didn't, I felt like I didn't need them. Like I didn't need the Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Does anyone want to get off? I just got, I got 1v1. It wasn't like a get off me. It was more like a, I gotta, I gotta find a way to beat him. That's, in many ways, that's probably Bad Breath's fault. Excuse me, um, that quote about the blessed and the forgetful and getting the better even of their blunders? That's not Confucius. Don't say that's Confucius. It's Pope Alexander. It's a completely different religion. Hey, how about this? Captain America, the Winter Soldier. In the elevator scene where it's Captain America and nine dudes from Hydra. Before we do this, does anyone want to get off? But like, what, before we do this, does anybody want to get me off? That could be a that could be a TikTok that could pop off. Before we do this, does anyone want to get me off? Plus two, plus two, I'll take it. Is that not obvious, bro? Why are people that play fighting games so annoying? Maybe it takes a thousand hours to get good at a fighting game. Because whenever you ask a, like a, a question that you could just say yes or no to, people say, isn't that obvious? Just look at the frame data. So true. I am a fighting game player and that's so true. So true. I am Justin Wong. So true. I am Daigo. Why do you keep reading my dickhead comments? Why do you keep typing them? <laughs> just so you know this uh, we got an upstream problem and a downstream problem hold on i thought your name was amelia Earhart. it is not chat audit 999 messages following for one year Okay, you're right. Like, actually, almost all of your comments are nice. Almost, almost, uh, almost all of your comments are like, sheesh, don't worry, that guy was good. Great gaming. Good try. Try Omega Cyclone next time. But then you, you did have one comment. <laughs> that, was, that was, isn't that obvious? All it takes is one bad comment. I give you the, the chat seal of approval. I'm Spider-Man. Give him an elbow. Didn't work. That's gonna hurt. Stamina break. It just felt right. It just felt right. Okay, he's down. He's running. He's scared. I should have been more scared. I'm going super mode. Fair. I tunnel vision. Wake up, Javelin. Ooh! <laughs> I've earned the Brain Buster, whatever the hell that means. Now he's going super mode. I've killed him, though! Bad move. Great move. Wake up, Javelin! Oh, we clashed. Oh, 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 oh. You got a chicken in, a, in your pocket and the other one's holding the piano? You're absolutely right. This is the perfect time. Rumbler, 
When you're right, you're right. What can you say? Might as well drink some juice here. Might as well drink a can of paint. Oh, he's gonna tunnel vision. Wake up, Javelin. I killed somebody. Dude, there's three... It's us! It's us! I'm going super mode! The frame rate's better. Look, funny way to die. A lot of good we can take out of that level. We, we, we did so well that game. Seven eliminations? I shouldn't have put myself so close to the water. That, that, was, that was my own mistake. I just made the biggest mistake of my life. There we go. Big miss. You don't want to fight? You were fighting someone else and I rudely interrupted you. I knew it! I knew it too! I was like, they can't resist, man! Excuse me, what the hell is this? <laughs> Save me? I got myself involved with the third party. There's no one to be mad at but me. Okay, this guy's good. He knows what he's doing. Well, a little greedy, maybe? Speaking of which, we're all being a little- oh! We're not all being a little greedy. Some of us are are a little better than others. Ah! <laughs> That's, look at this. You get in the fetal position. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fight, I gotta fight. It's like, it's like playing Guilty Gear. I gotta, I gotta focus. It is. It's, it's, this game's intense. Where are you going? I would not recommend that move next time. I'll see you in a minute, okay? Okay, that was insane. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, that's good. I love it. I hate the backwards dodge on that one, though. Big plays, big plays. Then running unblockable. Throw him to his death. <laughs> then when he wakes up from his super. Oh! Put me in the clip. Put Tomo in the clip. It actually worked. I don't believe it. Tomo. Yeah, yeah. Kate, you should play some Rumbleverse. Are you crazy? It's actually kind of sick. You hated that game when you first played it. You said, this game sucks. I don't know why anyone will play this shitty game. Anyone plays this game is stupid. Did I say that? And then you played this uh, during your free time because you said you have nothing else to play. Which is very true, and by the way. And then you said, I'll play the rings closing now. It's all true. You know he's starting with the poison mist. Get ready. This guy's addicted to his poison mist. Well, get addicted to this Izuna drop, by the way. <laughs> okay, I don't know how to get you when you go vertical, so congrats. Oh my god. That's literally how I felt on the first stream, too. See, it was kind of ass when I was ass at it. Then I took some time to learn its basic mechanics, and I'm, I'm much more into it now. Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh-oh. Okay, good move. Are you scared? I would say they're scared. 
Look at the steam coming out of their ears. Confirmed afraid. Oh, oh, kill them. How are you not dead? Now they're really scared. I can't keep an eye on them. Okay. They're not dead, though. They're merely down. Well, I, <laughs> I'm not... I'm genuinely not being a hater. But, like... You gotta attack at some point. Like, you can't just... You can't just weather attacks over and over. At some point, you gotta actually do some attacking. Why'd you hate Cult of the Lamb? I actually think Cult of the Lamb is a good game. The problem is, when it when something is merely good, it's a lot easier to focus on the things that keep it from being a 10 out of 10 than it is to praise the things that turn it into a 7 or an 8. I can say that now because I actually beat it. I mean, I, again, like what I was saying mostly about Cult of the Lamb is like, I feel like the... The, I feel like it's, I don't know, over-designed maybe? Maybe I feel like it's over-designed. Like there's so many mechanics in it, but none of the mechanics are like 10 out of 10, which makes it better than the sum of its parts because, you know, there's, there's like a bunch of little mini games that all allow you to do something different. So at first you're very enamored with like all the variety. You're like, look at all the shit you can do in this game. But I think, like, none of them are good enough to be so, like, replayable that by the end of the 15 to 20 hour runtime, you're like, I'm sad to see it go. Like, but, and again, you know, I'm not trying to say I'm an objective game reviewer, but for me, like, by the time we were reaching the end of Cult of the Lamb, I was like, I don't even want to interface with any of the optional mechanics because I just want it to be done. Like, I don't, I don't want to go do fishing. Because, like, fishing takes time, and it's a little fun, but what's the point of doing fishing when I can just go into my, um, into my, uh, church, and then be like, hey, nobody's hungry anymore. Hey, nobody's, uh, upset with me anymore. Nobody's, you know, you get the idea. Same, like, I don't, I don't really need, uh, to play knuckle bones to make money when you're just making money handle, even you can literally make your own money and stuff like that. So, again, I think it's a good game. I think the end of it lets it down a little bit for sure. While they're still introducing new stuff, it was it's very, very engaging. Also, the difficulty tuning. Yeah, the final boss being so easy and the fourth boss being such a nightmare. Well, it's not even that. I mean, I guess, like, the bosses were... Um, it really just depends on the builds because, like, some of the weapons were just pure ass and some of the weapons were, like, incredible. Like, the difference between the right clicks that we had the two times we did the final boss was, like, insanity. Now, I'm in, like, full hater mode, so I apologize. I, I do think it's a good game. I also just think, I don't know, you're competing with some great games when you're, when you're making, like, a, a pseudo-roguelite dungeon crawler type deal. And the, the dungeoneering aspect of it was not as good as... Whoops. Okay, that's a big whoops for you as well. The dungeoneering aspect was not as good as something like Gungeon or Hades or Isaac. You don't want to open this, dude. I'm t I told you. I, I freaking told you your actions have consequences. Probably reload this thing real quick. I shot about a thousand bullets out of it. Anyway, in spite of all that negative shit I've been saying, I actually think the game is very good. And I think it's totally worth the 20, 25 bucks, whatever it is that it, that it costs. But it is definitely not like a... I mean, by the time it was over, I was like, okay, I'm, that seems fair. But I guess I've, I've just learned to embrace the fact that we're in the... We're in the Cult of the Lamb hater arc. <laughs> Where I was like, no, don't be a hater to a good game. And then at, by the time I finished it yesterday, I was like, oh, say more. 
I actually I almost made an apology tweet yesterday because I was like, I wanted to apologize because I think I went in a little hard on Cult of the Lamb yesterday. It's a great game. I think maybe I just got a little uh, annoyed by the difficulty of it at the end of it because it was so unusual or so uh, uneven. I'd like to, I don't think it's cool to make fun of games that people like uh, worked on for their whole life, even though I called Rumbleverse ass because I'm, I'm wrong sometimes. Like I, double gamer juice. <laughs> I was wrong about Rumbleverse. Once I actually play, played through the tutorial, I understood what was happening. It became a, a lot more fun. I will take on anyone right now. You, you want a slice? How about the whole freaking thing? I got more gamer juice where that came from. Did you see me dodge that shot? Hold on. I'm slurping. Hang on, I'm slurp. I'm taking this other gamer juice. He's slurping too. I slurped last. I gotta go. I thought that was the last guy. Hello. I don't have the juice. Get on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said get owned. I was just having fun. Some great shooting in that final circle, though. Dude, we, we played that engagement so perfectly. We were the damn predator. With the gamer juice and everything. All right. Uh, yeah, we came top 10. All right, let me see if my wife is ready to stream. Aggression. Who, who knew aggression in a BR? Who knew, man? Pog! My wife said, yes, one minute, done eating, you can have the rest. <laughs> yes! Bad chest! My wife said I could eat her leftover delivery food. What is it? Donkatsu! Let's fucking go! <laughs> what is that? It's a deep fried crunchy pork cutlet. Let's fucking go! I got some sourdough bread. Maybe I'll make, maybe I'll put that on a donkatsu sandwich. Holy cow. My wife's boyfriend said I could eat her leftover food. Pog! <laughs> Ever tell you about how I learned that quote unquote soy face is a thing? Back when I still had a Facebook account, I got served an ad for Dr. Utker's gluten free frozen pizza. And the dude in the, um, the dude who was modeling the pizza box in the Facebook ad was going like, and the comments were ripping him apart. This must have been like 2017 or 2018. But th they were like, my face when the dude fucking my wife gives me a slice of pizza. My face when they tell me, sorry, the burger's not real meat. My face when Justin Trudeau says we're going to have to eat insects. It was just like insane, unhinged conspiracy theories and personal attacks over and over. I had to do a deep dive to figure out what the, what the hell the meme was even about. Anyway, I think, I think she's live. Does it bother you? You look exactly like Soy Jack. Only when I haven't shaved my head for like a few days. And only when I see, uh, when I get to the end of uh, a Marvel movie and they introduce um, the Tin Man. Holy cow. Don't worry. Iron Man may be gone, but we've got someone who can replace him. You were ex that's Cowardly Lion. What does the Tin Man sound like? You were expecting um, maybe Adam Warlock? Yet again, another plus two. Okay, I'll take that. Oh, my wife says she's dropping frames like crazy. Okay. It's the Tin Man. The Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz is going to be in this one. <laughs> 